Heona ne ehi kororia ki te atua, te hei mauri oru. Hau mai, nau mai hari mai ki te tēnei whara karakia. Tēna koutou, tēna koutou, tēna tātou katoa. A te māori e whanau, good morning and welcome to Jaffel. Please be seated. Today's service is being led by Nike Our Group 3. The theme for today is gratefulness. On behalf of the school, welcome back to our headmaster, Mr Skeen. Let's go to our opening responses. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We now bow our heads in prayer. All seeing God, teach us to be open about teach us to be open with you about our needs, to seek your support in our trials, to admit before you our sins and to thank you for all your goodness, through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Story of the day, Winnie the Pooh's Thanksgiving. Our story begins as Pooh's friends are looking for him. He requests that they gather together. Why the meeting, they ask. Pooh explains that today he suddenly became very aware of how special breakfast could be, like so many things, sunsets, birthdays, surprises, and nap times, hugs, and extra dessert. He explains that breakfast is a more than just today. It isn't always there when a bear needs it sort of thing. Piglet responds, you mean you were grateful, Pooh? Yes, exactly, he replies. It is such a wonderful thank you very much feeling and so very, very large. I knew I had to share it with those who I'm most grateful for. Al asks, who are those you speak of? Pooh says, well, all of you, of course, my very best and dearest friends. Then each of his friends expresses what they're most grateful for. Please stand for our first hymn, Be Thou My Vision. An ancient song about being grateful from 3,000 years ago. Praise the Lord, my soul. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 12. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with life, love, and compassion who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed, renewed by, like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses, his deed to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abundant in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve 
or repay us according to our equities. For as high as the heavens above the earth, so great is his love that those who fear him, as far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Good morning, school. Today's theme is on the topic of gratefulness, a virtue that's often forgotten in our busy day-to-day lives and the struggles we encounter. Gratefulness is something that we all know and actively do and can relate to regardless of our whereabouts in life and regardless of how privileged we may be. While it appears to be a simple concept, it is a direct way that we can lead a happy, healthy, religious life and reflect on God's love in our lives. But what is the true meaning of gratefulness? It goes beyond saying thank you out of courtesy to someone who has been nice to you. Gratefulness is when you have that real inner feeling of gratitude, even if things might not be perfect or merely not going the way you want them to. It's very important to maintain and uphold a positively orientated view on your life and to be thankful for what someone does for you, truly, even if it seems very little. Our perspective on life that transforms how we see the circumstances we're in, our relationships and our blessings is what defines our love and happiness. As they say, Love's never lost when perspective is earned. In scripture, we're told to be grateful for the blessings God has given us, directly. It's not a suggestion, and how could you not be grateful when we have what we have? But this is easier said than done in in a world where life can feel oftentimes overwhelming and difficult. How do we follow through on this gratitude? Well, it's important to first understand the depth of gratitude. In the Bible, gratitude is intertwined to worship and acknowledgement of Christ. Gratefulness is rooted in recognizing that everything we have is sent from God. Having this view that everything comes from God shifts the spotlight we have focused on what we don't have and what we desire to focusing on all the blessings we've been given. It opens our eyes to see both the grand privileges and the simple mercies of everyday life. One of the best ways to be grateful is through counting our blessings, our many blessings, Amidst difficulties, we tend to fixate on what is wrong, like I previously mentioned, but consciously making an effort to identify and, and acknowledge the positive aspects of our lives, we begin to see them more clearly. This isn't about pretending it's all sunshine and roses, but about shifting our gaze to, to looking at the good alongside the challenges. We are the best version of, versions of ourselves when we highlight the importance of returning to thank God for his blessings, that while God is generous and gracious, our response should be an acknowledgement of his work. Being grateful is also understanding God's timings and ways might not be our preferences, but it's all part of his big plan. Often, we can find ourselves in places where we struggle to see why God has placed us in this scenario. In times like this, we need to put our trust and faith into God, even if we are uncertain and feel as though we're blindfolded on a tightrope. The Apostle Paul learned to be content through the trials and tribulations he was faced with, He found his strength through the Lord and persevered. His gratitude was not based on the things he went through, but on his confidence in Christ's strength. Gratefulness is also seeing and further appreciating the people around us. We should express our gratitude in our relationships, in the way we treat others, and in our interactions with others. A grateful person best reflects their gratitude through kindness, encouragement, and support. Gratefulness is not only a response to what God has done, but also a way to instill your trust in him to walk you through what lies ahead. As we grow a heart of gratitude, we learn to become compatible with God's purposes and trust in his goodness. Gratefulness transforms our perspective on life and strengthens our relationship with God. But no one said that gratitude's easy. Life has, has its dark times when it seems hard to muster up a thank you, and that's okay. Gratefulness is only a choice every person can make every day, whether that be on hard or easy days. It's about finding even the slightest glimmer of good and holding on to that. In closing, let us commit to being grateful in our daily lives together. Let us be those who recognize God's hand in every aspect of our lives, who express our thanks not just in words but through our actions, and who trust in his goodness at all times. As we embrace a heart of thankfulness, we become more aware of God's presence and more reflective of his love in a world that desperately needs it. I hope you leave this sermon taking away something with the consideration of what I just said. 
May you go in peace and look out of your eyes from a more grateful perspective to look for the good in one another and in the world around us. Go peacefully, thanking God for all the blessings which he blesses us with, both large and small. May God bless each and every one of you as you seek to strengthen your grateful heart, and may your life be a testament to his grace. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the great things that you have gifted us, and we stand before you today in worship of you as we are forever grateful for what you have done to help humanity. We ask in your name that you allow more people to see the things in their lives that they can be grateful for. In your name we pray, amen. amen. It's now time for silent prayer and reflection. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we pray together in Te Reo. Eto mato mato itirangi, kia tapu to ingoa, kia taimai to ranga tiratanga, kia metea to epaia, kia runga kia te whanua, kia rairita. Ho mai kia mato anei, hi tau mato hirara, murua o mato hara, me te mato nei. O hoki mato e kawe kia kino no hoki ranga tiratanga ya me se kroya ake 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 amen. Morena Tefano, kia ora, and welcome to Chapel from me, and a big thank you to 9KL Group 3. Uh, been a great class this year to work with, and I know credit is due mainly to Mr. De Beers, but very closely with Mr. De Beers. I think Mrs. Miller, you've had a part with 9KL as well, I think, a little bit. No? Wasn't. Different class. Okay. There we go. But I think you've done an exceptional job tonight. And Luke said something in his sermon there towards the end, that I hope there's something in what I've said that you can take away with you. Luke, your words certainly echoed down my corridors a little bit. There was things I could take away. That lovely story from Winnie the Pooh. Maybe Winnie the Pooh was perhaps not a part of your childhood. It was certainly part of mine and my kids. It was a, it was a beautiful narrative of this simple bear who loves his honey, but he actually just discovers these incredible truths about what it is to be a human being, what it is to live in community with others. And that lovely story this morning about just waking up, just having his breakfast and realizing, wow, I'm having breakfast with my mates. That's something half the school did this morning. You had breakfast with your mates. I wonder how grateful we felt for that. Believe you or not, it's such a blessing. And so many things, what I was thinking about was so many things that we enjoy. Again, that connection to the Lord, uh, the school prayer, the blessings and privileges that we daily enjoy. So many of those things, it's what most of the world are praying for. Most of the world will be praying today for peace in their lives. They'll be praying for somewhere safe to live. They'll be praying for the next meal. They'll be praying that the school will be open. They'll be praying that they can have access to the doctor or the nurse. And all these things we just seem to just, we just, just have in our lives. And it's good to be reminded this morning by Luke and 9KL Group 3 that we have so much to be grateful for and, and to share that gratitude as well. So kia ora, thank you so much for what you've gifted to us this morning. Round of applause. Well done. Also very grateful to see the safe return of the boss, Mr. Skeen, headmaster, welcome back to you from your travels and we look forward to hearing from you in due course around in that space. So just a couple of notices from me in the service base. Thank you, Clark Hamilton on duty tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Neithling, for your coordination of that. I'm just going to hand over to Roy and Charlotte. Just got a brief corridor around the um, Year 12 service program. Uh, morning school. So last night we had our fourth session at the um, Cancer Society Lodge in evening performance and that was the chamber choir so that went really well and the people there, the patients there were all really grateful for that. 
So thank you for the choir for um, giving up your evening last night, as well as Rev, Mrs. Keep, Ms. Shalom, and Mr. Campbell. Just to follow on from what Rory said, yeah, thank you to everyone that's participated in the Cancer Society Lodge program so far. Um, if you're musically inclined and interested in coming along, there'll be some more information in the notices, so look out for that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Roy and Charlotte. Great programme and well led and coordinated by you and others as well. Next casual close day, charity day, that's two weeks' time. Just a heads up around that. And uh, I've got a really lovely video to share with you about some people we're going to be helping directly as a result of that day. So more on that over the, the next couple of weeks. Now I'm going to hand over for a very special final notice before the big day tomorrow. It's Cult International Culture Week and we have that focus day tomorrow. So I just... In addition to the chapel presentation today, gratitude can also be shown by embracing diversity and individuality in culture. Individuality in culture was shown through the efforts that were put into the Landis Center world map. And now it is time to show appreciation and diversity through the Friday activities planned out by the International Department. Firstly, the assembly tomorrow will be a cultural day assembly and there will be variations of performing arts from all around, an exciting speaker and a special interview. During morning tea, there will be food stalls out in the quad consisting of different delicious snacks. I challenge you to try something that you have never tried before. The food will be between two to three dollars and cash is preferred, but FPOS is available. All the profits of the world of the food stores are to go to the Hamilton Christian Food Bank. To end the week off, you can travel around the continents in the spam of a lunchtime in the quad with our activities. By collecting a passport and stamps in it and completing all the activities in the Asia, Africa, Europe, South and North America and Oceania stores, you will be in the draw for winning a box of favorites and a talk shop voucher. Alongside fun activities, we will be joined with a Year 11 band that will provide enjoyable background music. Thank you. I hope I see you at the stalls. Fantastic. Thank you, Martina. Thank you, international students. Let's bow our heads and seek God's blessing upon us on this day as we each in our own way seek to cultivate our own grateful hearts for the blessings and the privileges that are enjoyed daily in this place and space. Mata Malie, a tato, a colline, tai te fakaro, a tate, a koto, nako, a koto, hininaro, a roto, a karaiti ihu, a kia mo, kia a hooki, kia koto, te manaki. Te atua kala rawa, te matua te tama te waru, tapu aine, a ake tonu atu, amine. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon us, be upon all those whom we are grateful for, be upon all those whom we love, care for, and pray for this day and all our days. Amen. Let's stand for our next hymne, our final hymne. We practiced it yesterday. Remember those little note changes. Jesus Christ is waiting.
Let us conclude our service by saying together the words of the St. Paul's Grace in Te Reo in English. Kia tau, kia tātou kato, e a tāruta ariki arihu karati, me te aroha o te atua, me te whiwhinga tangitanga, ki te wairua tapu, ake, 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 amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Go in the love of God, the peace of, the peace of Christ, and the dignity of the Holy Spirit. Kia kaha, kia hari, kia tapu. Be strong, be happy, be holy. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Dunlock. <laughs>